Okay, in case y'all don't know who this is right here, I'm just going to go ahead and blow this up real quick. And I'm not going to blow it up any further because I can't stand the look of it. But the person that you happen to be seeing here happens to be the human walking shit emoji and also the stand-in the stand-in replacement for W World Wrestling Entertainment superstar Mark Henry happens to be this reprobate known as Amber Phillips, a black feminist extremist. For real, for real. One of the, the main feminazi and public enemy number one to the black community. And her objective, much like that in the say-so of the Legion of Doom, is the single conquest of black men in derogatory ways by any and every means necessary. Now, I was just looking at Professor Black Truth's uh, video essay on them. You know, I'm a habit student of his. Shout out to Professor Truth. Um, and my distinction, anybody knows that I have major issues with these black femin with these uh, feminazis, especially black feminazis. You know, she came to national attention, no thanks to the roly poly ascot wearing, no neck idiot, still wearing a jerry curl in 2017, Roland Martin gave her exposure when they when she with her and Jamila LaYuck. Um, decide to go ahead and sabotage Nate Parker's movie The Birth of a Nation talk about saying it was a rape scene in there and I watched that movie and there was no rape scene in there okay because the sister had argued her down the sister who played um, Nat Turner's mom in the movie there was no rape scene in there so you know and, and on top of that the reason why I'm going in on Amber Phillips and all that what better way than to go in on this heifer is right on her motherfucking birthday, which is today. Yeah, I got a lot of information on Amber Phillips. I did my, I do my, I do my due diligence when it comes to researching people. And she is no different. Once I find out that she was a Capricorn, I'm like, oh man, here we go. They buy the two faces, I don't know what, you know. But, I digress. Now she's on this crusade all of a sudden saying that all men are guilty of rape. Well, in her eyes, all black men. Stupid shit like what she's saying. Like if a man come across a woman and he eyeballing her down and all that, undressing her with her eyes, that's rape. And I'm saying that don't make no damn sense. Look, I already knew this bitch was on the loony bin. But this ain't no different. I mean, the picture here doesn't even do it no justice, you know, because, I mean, the, you know, she tried to sit up here with these little $2 uh, Wal Walgreens glasses on and try to look like she intelligent and all that. But to tell you the truth, her, Jamila Lemieux, Candace Owens, um, Issa Rae, who I'm going to get on later too, um, and the rest of these heifers are just basically, they have now declared war on, on brothers and amid all the sexual allegations that's going on with white men with Harvey Weinstein uh, Matt Lauer um, Jerry Richardson of the Panthers so on like that you don't see Amber Phillips crusading against that not do you but the minute it turned out to be Bill Cosby they all over the damn place the minute that it was about Ray Rice Oh, yeah, throw Jamil Hill ass in that category, too, because she ain't shit. It's, it's all over there. Let it be LeVar Ball. They all over it. you, you got to understand something. See, you don't see Amber Phillips. You don't see man, none of them hoes going at, you know, going, going at white men like that. You don't see them going after the crackers like that. Because, after all, when it comes down to Sky Daddy, they looking for a check. They looking for a check, period. And Roland Martin ain't no better. Now, I caught the snippet. I was trying to look for it, but I didn't have time to it because I just started to do this video. I want to try to finish it real quick, but I want to be thorough. 
that how she was on the I think the last show a TV none or whatever because I know it's the twenty first they had the last live there and I'm glad I didn't watch it. <clears throat> and then here you got you know when she mentioned that that all men are guilty of rape and all that and here's Roland Martin now all of a sudden he done got his bass in his voice now he's out here saying or saying that he's a black man again. What well, took you so long? But yet, though, he was utterly field mouse quiet when Richard Spencer was on there and asked him the same thing. Are you a black man? No, no, I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Me, me, me. I'm a Christian. You know, get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You, that's a big FOH right there. That was a double FOH bringing this, bringing this uh, Pumbaa the Warthog back on your damn show. You know what's the problem with people like like these heifers that I, I mentioned? It's because the fact of the matter and they war against black men is because like because see number number one, nobody ain't really checking for these hoes. I mean I mean for real, for real. Let me see if I could bring up a picture which I don't have, damn it. Now that's Issa Ray. I'm gonna get to her ass in a minute. Um. Any, cause no, nobody don't want any checking for her. I mean, like, look here. I mean, shit. Got three necks, you know, three chins, gap tooth bigger than the Grand Canyon. Yeah, look at old, hor, hor, horrid, obese looking woman looking, looking like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man or the Michelin Tire Man. Take your pick or choose it. And that's the reason why. But she's doing all this now because now she's getting attention. Because you go on her Twitter page, you go on her Instagram page and all this shit like that. You know, um, now she want to get the attention. But ain't no man, ain't no decent man in a right, sensible, common sense mind is not going to get with that. Okay? Because she's starting to start starting to realize now to you know that this 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 little uh feminine feminist shit is not paying is not is not paying out the big bucks she has so far like hopelessly dreamed of. And it's starting to show plus right along with her age because you know that biological clock is ticking. So you know so, you know, the more and more you become less desirable and stuff. It's the same thing go for Jamil Hill. Nobody checking for her. You know, 40 some year old woman, I'm you know, saying like that, never been married, no kids, no nothing like that. And she continually get out there and she throws black men up under the bus. When she, when she went out there and um, tweeted that Donald Trump was a white supremacist, oh, no shit, Sherlock. A lot, and, and Trump, um, and Tangerine went at went clapped back at her. A lot of brothers ran to her defense and stood up. I, I, for that, I applaud them. But then she turns right around and does a 360. Does a 360 and supports some and retweets some asinine article from VSB, written by some moist sugar thong, Wan Coon named Damon Young. Saying that straight black men are the new white men in society, or something like that. I've warned plenty of people, plenty of times about Jamil Hill. Okay, she is, she plays both sides of the fence, worse than a grasshopper on a lily pad. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, that's what taking accountability. Now, when she tweeted about Jerry Jones, a.k.a. Calvin Candy, ESPN had enough of her on Twitter, and they suspended her ass for two weeks. And then she comes with this asinine apology. That's probably ESPN told her to say what she had to say so she could get back in the good graces of Scott, of, of, they, of her pink daddy. Yeah. So we didn't hear nothing on Jameel Hill on Twitter for a while, except the one that I did, um, where she went at Stacy Trash. I mean Stacy Dash, and I said like, mm-hmm. 
Some people are just a glutton for punishment. But this ain't about Jameel Hill. I just deal with this walking shit emoji right here. You know, like I said, that looks that that sort of you mistake her for the WWE's Mark Henry, or maybe Titus O'Neil. I don't know one of them two. Um, Amber Phillips is just basically, just basically an abomination. Period. She's an abomination to the black community. And I'm going to tell you something to the black community right now. Y'all need to start going ahead and calling these black feminists out. They are nothing more than just terrorists within the community. Because as Jason Black said, before we deal with the enemy on the outside, we must deal with the enemy from within. The Amber Phillips, Jamila Lemieux, Jamil Hill, Issa Rae are no different. But as far as like that, Professor Truth got me beat when it came down to going ahead and trashing this hoe. But one thing, but let me move on from this right here to this. This, my friends, is Issa Rae, who basically uh, stars on the HBO show Insecure and... <laughs> just something else, but she too has taken the route with Amber Phillips and Jamila Lemieux um, declaring war on black men too because it's bad enough, you know, HBO I really don't even watch nothing they have or whatever like that because they already coming out with this show called Confederate now she came out with a show that's doing this that's, that's putting up right here And Huff Post is uh, boosting it up. Now, let me just read it to you right here, though. You know, brace yourself. Issa Rae has two more shows coming to HBO, and they sound awesome. The co-creator, executive producer, and star in Insecure, yes, she is definitely the heir apparent to Shonda Rhimes. She's working on a comedy series and a drama series. The single camera comedy titled Him or Her centers the life of the on the love of a bisexual black man and the quote unquote distinctive distinctively uh, distinctly different worlds and relationships he finds himself in. You see where this going at? You know, HBO is cool with it. They throwing a few bones her way. As long as she goes ahead and and puts something out that'll trash black men in a negative light, it's a, it's okay. Anyway, Ray told the Huff Post she's helping to develop the show as an executive producer. But former Daily Show writer Trayvon Fee created the series, which is based on his own experience. Ah, see the. Trayvon Fee, basically some, probably a bisexual dude, probably another sugar thong wearing, sugar pants wearing, thong, thong panty wearing fool. Saying, I was immediately drawn in to the concept from his initial pitch and am so grateful, well it should be, I am, I'm so grateful. Jesus, they can't even get these words right. She, she doesn't know nothing that he's trusting us with his vision. So she wants to go in there. You already got the dude who wrote the series, who, by the way, is bisexual himself. So he's basically based on his own experience. So now Issa Rae's coming in there to try to go ahead and throw a little salt in the game by just trashing brothers. The second project is titled Sweet Life, and it will be set in Los Angeles County, Windsor Hills neighborhood. Part of the area sometimes called quote unquote the Black Beverly Hills. Sweet Life is co created and co written by Ray and Ramallah Muhammad, a writer on ABC's hit show Scandal. There you go. So the title may be coming from a Frank Onch's song, Sweet Life, where he sings about Ladera Heights, the Black Beverly Hills. And Ray is a noted Frank Ocean fan. I don't even know who that is. I, I do know, but don't really know. 
Now, the idea for the series initially came from a joke pitch I presented to the New Yorker. I had always wanted to create a teen movie about Winslow Hills, but never thought about doing a TV show. Once my joke TV pitch kind of went viral, I was like, oh, oh, duh. Let me just do my movie ideal as a TV show. Now, HBO has not set a release date for either series. If you need us, we'll be hyperventilating under our desk until that happens. See, this is the bullshit that that comes along with it. And look at the look at the credits. Look who basically wrote wrote it. Because Black Voices is no different than it is from the Root or the Grio, which are supposed to be quote unquote black publications, but it's really run by whites. So therefore, the person that wrote this here named Alana Vagianos basically a white uh, Caucasian Latina or officially a Latina trying to pass for a Caucasian. Again, do not be surprised that either one of these heifers try to get out here and they, you know, they want to get out here and trash brothers and throw them under the bus. See, this is what we have to do, uh, people. When we talk about stay on code, we talking about going ahead and purging these coons, these bed wench mammies, the, and these black these black feminazis they got to go you know let me roll it down in there so y'all get a pen and paper Amber Phillips and Issa Rae are just two of them Jamila Lemieux Jamil Hill Candace Owens Christina Karazine you know the typical swirl YouTube swirler And there's some other ones that's out there that hasn't even reared their ugly heads up out of a wormhole in the garden. But they soon will be because, after all, these heifers don't like nothing better to do than to have somebody talk about them because, see, they know they love the attention. And Issa Rae and Amber Phillips, you know, a.k.a. the walking shit emoji, are no different. But... Like I said, you know, we got to stay on, we got to be on code, and we got to go ahead and, and and eradicate these fools from over here. They don't stand up for us. They don't, and they can be honest with you. They could care less about black feminism and women's rights and all that because they really don't. They where were they when Sandra Bland got killed? Where were they? Where were they when Corin Gaines was killed? Huh? I mean, go ahead. I'll wait. But this is just a typical, typical type of crap that's going on there. You know, she tried, Amber Phillips tried to audition, because, you know, she tried to audition, do all this, try to get an audition for a permanent job. She tried at the Breakfast Clubs, I mean, Breakfast Club, failed. Shit. I mean, NSNBC, don't want to have nothing to do with her. CNN, uh-uh. Shoot. Personally to me, I think her only shot she'd probably be over there on Fox News. They'll love her over there until they use her up and wrap her out. Just act Stacy trash. But do not be surprised that you do see her go over there on Fox News or anything like that. You know, we got to go ahead and purge ourselves from these people. For real. So that way we can flourish as a community. With that said, love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, no more talk, peace and love, I'm out.